What is going on you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're reacting to Free Run Beyond Journeys and episode 16 called Long Lived Friends. If you like Free Run Beyond Journeys and smash that like button, consider subscribing to my anime reaction videos and hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date with it. Let's jump straight into it. Let's go. So last week's episode was pretty cool actually. Just the way Stark went through that whole transformation. Oh, so this is sign fishing. Bro, can we not take a second to appreciate the animation did you see how the water was flickering like that i see they do it in a lot of animes now where when it's a narration the subtitles they make it red like the outline red when it's sort of a throwback then it's blue i wonder if sign's actually gonna meet his friend who went on the journey i know they suspect that he's dead but you never know because the whole point of him traveling with is to find where his friend died and like pay his last respects or something if i remember correctly long-lived friends 29 years after death himmel the claw region Three hundred years. That's why Eisen was like still looking the same. <laughs> I get Freeran's face. I swear she's so funny, dude. <laughs> oh wow. I mean, look, we did see Stark and Fern or Farron. In the last episode, they got like a little bit closer, just in terms of the fact that obviously they were dancing together. But the way she like looked at her hand after he took it like that, she definitely felt something. You're still pretending to be seen now. <sighs> Whoa. Most, most deaths in battle are due to carelessness. Train with him while you're here, okay. Oh my gosh, I'd like to stay here for a decade. <laughs> That's crazy. Because, I mean, like we've said before, a decade to her is nothing. Ten years to her is like ten day, ten months, you know. Imagine this is Aizen's father. That would be crazy. Obviously, just a theory. Damn. I swear, one of these days, Stark is going to be the strongest warrior in the world. I actually had, and I'm actually, I got a little bit sad just even thinking about it right now. But I had this weird thought last week when I was editing the episode. And I was thinking that, imagine like, by the time they get to Aurora, people are gonna be, have died. Like, let's say for instance, like, maybe Stark and Farron are dead. By the time they reach Aurora, and then Freerun's the only one who's alive. And then when she gets there, she sees them all again. That would be I like I'm I got goosebumps just thinking about that right now. I'm defending the village my wife loved. She was a human. I really want to see the Demon King. Like, after we saw, like, Lugna, and just the way how, like, cunning he was, like, the Demon King must be, like, a hundred times more than that. Damn, can't remember...
Maybe is senile. Damn. Very interesting because Freerun is literally someone who would just tell you straight, right? She's very like transparent, but even in that moment, she just realized like, you know what? Just leave him as it is. Like he's, he's an old man. She's very interesting. Oh, he dreamed, dreamt about his wife, so he remembered her face and her voice. Roa Road, located in the Northern Lands. So they're trekking again now. Like I said, it would be really cool to actually see a map. Like, I think they have showed a glimpse of a map. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yeah, his friend. Gorilla Warrior. <笑>本名、本名、本当に親友だったのかな。<笑><笑> The magical city of our best. <laughs> what are you looking at me for? I think like, and it's just like life, you know, the point is the journey. So you might as well enjoy every single moment. Several tasks. That's the thing that's also kind of interesting, right? It seems like on Freerun's first journey, there was all these things like treasure hunts and fighting a lot of monsters. But in this journey, it seems a lot more chilled. Okay, yeah, they are kind of showing glimpses of it, but it's almost like just highlights. It's like, that would have been cool to sort of see now, but yet they just ran over it, so it's quite interesting. Imagine it's a different um, group to Freerun's. Wow, the goatee priest. Oh, is that Croft? Is that not Croft the monk? Oh my gosh, it is. So Croft journeyed with Gorilla Warrior. Okay, obviously it wouldn't be Gorilla Warrior because he would have been too young. Oh, so that's why he came up with it, so that no one would ever forget it. Goatee priest. Goatee priest, some would say. Tua. Man, this is like even further than our best. Oh, so this is where they're probably going to split, or closer to there. Okay, very interesting. Uh, cool episode, learnt more about Gorilla Warrior, which is... I guess it kind of highlights Sign's journey, you know? And we see now what their whole reason be behind everything is to be remembered and it's easier to be remembered through like a strange unique name as sign was saying you know the goatee priest the go 
Gorilla Warrior. And it all sort of stems from Haita taking them to go see the previous heroes. And I did say that I wonder if it's different heroes to Free Rune's group. And it was. And who do we see? Craft the Monk, which I did recognize. <laughs> I recognized it before they said it. Craft the monk and I didn't know who the other person was. That's the thing. Hater said we don't remember his, their names or something. And that's what sort of spurred it on. I'm going to be Gorilla Warrior. I think the whole episode was essentially sort of based off of memory, right? That was like, and like, did I not say this the other day? I said every episode has its own theme. And this one was memory, you know, where we even met. What was his name? Old Man Vol. That was his name. We met him and... You know, Freerun was saying how he pretends to be senile and stuff, but he's actually very sharp. And he saw how he just tripped stark and he was like if my sword was unsheathed i would have taken your leg clean off he was even talking about the memory of his wife how he doesn't even remember how her voice or how she even looks but then right at the end she said he said that he had a dream about her so basically after talking to freeran which actually makes me think now wasn't there some type of spell that Freerun learned where it get like you can give someone their memories back I'm pretty sure that's what happened in the last episode. She got that thing about the memories. So maybe while he was sleeping, she might have used that spell on him to bring his memories back. Very interesting. I'm, I'm, that literally just came to my mind right now. So I'm not even sure if that's true. But you see them journeying on now. And, you know, like I said, the nice thing about the show is like, it kind of teaches you that everybody's life is long, right? Or everybody's life has a certain journey. And if you constantly trying to figure out the end if you're constantly looking towards the end then you're gonna be like Farron and Stark who was essentially like oh we've been traveling for so long right now but really it's about the journey like it's about every moment that goes through that you go through then you'll eventually get to your destination and you see that more and more in every episode the more you kind of look ahead the longer things will take whereas if you just enjoy the moment things will actually move a lot quicker but you're really good Good episode for you and as always on fridays just perfect end to the week but that's gonna be it for me if you like free and beyond journey's end smash that like button consider subscribing to my anime reaction videos and hit the notification bell so that you stay up to date because you know your boy is releasing every day of the week i'm gonna leave the last episode right up over here thanks for watching if you're watching i'm out peace in a bit